G'day ladies and germs, Connor here from C-Dubs Media, back with another video. And today we're doing the top five settings to change on your Pixel 7a the minute you get it out of the box. You know what? I freaking love this device. I just want to put that out there. I've had it for about 48 hours and it's just been awesome the whole time. It's just like using the Pixel 7 Pro. So if you're thinking about getting this, then just get it. That's my advice. Now the first setting that I always turn on as soon as I get a Pixel phone is flip to shush. So I walk into a meeting at work or anywhere and I don't want to be disturbed. You know, it's embarrassing to be the one whose phone's ringing during a meeting. Flip it over on a flat surface and it is now in do not disturb mode. No issues, no one's going to interrupt the meeting when you've got a Pixel phone on its belly. How do you set that up? Quite easily, go into your settings, scroll down to system, gestures, and then here, flip to shush. And here it just says it. To turn on do not disturb, place your phone face down on a flat surface. You will feel a subtle vibration when do not disturb turns on. Ain't that the truth? Flip it over, it's silent, no one's interrupting. Now, my second one. And I'll just show you this quickly. Just say, I've been out, I've done a 10K run, and I want to share it with the world. Screenshot it. I want to send it on Instagram, or I want to send it on WhatsApp, or whatever it is. How did I screenshot that? Let me just show you again. Screenshot. Now, you didn't see anything happen, but what I actually did was double tap the back of the device, and it takes a screenshot. So, just let me show you. Double tap. And there you go, a screenshot has been taken. So, how do you enable that? Again, go into your settings, scroll down to system, gestures, quick tap to start actions. Now I've got it set to take a screenshot, but you can have it set to open an app. So I'm gonna change it here to open YouTube Studio. Double tap, YouTube Studio opens. Now let me just show you from the back. Double tap, YouTube Studio opens. So it's that simple. And it's really handy for me taking a screenshot. You know, you're trying to press buttons here like volume down and power button or volume. Well, I always forget which one it is. I never do it properly, but quickly double tap and it screenshots or opens the preferred app of your choice. So that is my second tip for your new Pixel device. Now the next one is making the icons theme to the way your device is themed. So if I pull down on my quick panel, you can see that it's like a lime green color. But my icons are traditional Google icons. But if I hold my finger down on the screen, go into wallpaper and style, and scroll down to themed icons, turn that on, and you will see here that the icons now become lime green. So let's just have a quick look. There you go, they're lime green. So again, how did I do that? Hold my finger down on the display, wallpaper and style, themed icons off. There you can see, themed icons on. And you can actually choose the color of it. You see, you're changing your color palette. And it's still theming the icons So there you go, that's my third tip. Now my fourth one is an interesting one. So the Pixel 7a now has 90 hertz refresh rate on your display. So what does that mean? It means it scrolls a lot smoother, but it comes out of the box with 60 hertz turned on. So let's just have a quick look. That's scrolling and it looks like 60 hertz. It still looks fast, but it's not smooth. So if we go into our display settings, Scroll down to Smooth Display, tap that on, and we're now in 90 hertz. And you can see how much smoother that is. Turn it off, fast but jittery. Turn it on, fast and smooth. So that's my fourth tip. I think it's an important one because it's actually turned off by default when you turn on your phone. Now my next one is also an important one and it's to do with your battery. And protecting your battery life of your phone. Now, 
Most of us, you know, we want to turn our phone on and have it charged super fast so we can get on with our day. But at night, you don't want that to happen. You don't want it to be on the charger all night at 50 watts or 30 watts or whatever the phone is capable of. So here, I'm going to show you to turn on adaptive battery charging. Now, what that means is you plug it on at night when it's on do not disturb and it will trickle charge your phone so that it gets to 100% charge just before your alarm goes off in the morning. Now, how cool is that? That's going to extend the life of your battery. It's not going to heat up your phone as much, it's just going to be much better overall. So you go into your settings, go to battery settings, and then hit adaptive preferences. And here, adaptive battery. Extend battery life based on your phone usage. And then adaptive charging. Extend battery lifespan by charging steadily during longer charging periods. Activated based on your usage cycle. So for me, that's at night. Between 11 p.m. and 5.30 a.m., it will slowly charge from whatever percentage it's on to 100% just before my alarm goes off. I love it. It's extending the life of my battery. Uh, there's no need for it to be charged to 100% in 10 minutes and heating up the battery if I'm just going to have it on charge for another eight hours after that. So that's my fifth tip. I think it's an important one. Extend the life of your battery. I really do think that's important. Now guys, there is an extra tip here and it is how to use split screen mode. I think it's important and it's not the same on every phone. And for me, I do find it handy sometimes if I wanna copy something from one app to the other. So I can just have two apps open at once to help copy information from one to the other. So I might be sending someone a text message. Oh look, I've got a shopping list here. And I'm gonna make that split. Then I wanna text it to someone. So, oh yeah, I need chocolate topping, Milo and butter. And then I can just go in here, chocolate topping. Oh, I forgot what was on there, Milo and butter. And then just check again. Yep, that was everything I needed and send the text message to myself of all people. So that is how you do split screen. Now, whichever one you want to get rid of, just drag your finger down and it will show the whole app of the one that you didn't dismiss. So that is my sixth tip. I hope you like it. It's a pretty cool tip. They're all good tips, especially if this is a first time user using a Pixel device. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate your time. Catch you in the next video. Check out.